Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to scary numbers that you should never call. I was really hesitating to even make this video because I do not want to be cursed. I do not want to call these numbers and some bitch with long ass scary hair with pale skin like from the ring comes up to my doorstep and says they're going to come eat my soul or something. I didn't want that to happen. I was letting all these thoughts linger in my mind. But then I thought I ain't no pussy pansy bitch. I'm going to call these numbers in this episode. I'm going to go on a website that I saw where there's all these scary numbers. And I'm going to call them with this phone. Well, not this phone. This is my main phone. I'm going to use my other phone. This is the one I used to call my side pieces. So I went to a site called Scary for Kids. And first of all, let me say something. Scary Bruh. for Kids? These are some real ass phone numbers. These are potentially haunted, cursed for life ass phone numbers. And you're going to show these to kids? Whoever made this site, what the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, with all that out the way, we are going to check out these phone numbers. We're gonna read them out for you guys right now and then we're gonna call them and then we're gonna see what happens so the first number is basically it's just a bunch of sixes also known as the devil's number and let me read it for you real quick for years people all over the world have been receiving creepy messages from the phone numbers or some people believe these phone calls come from the devil we were in a car going home one night when our friend received a call on his cell phone from he never picked up the phone, and we even joked about how the devil was calling him from hell. Several minutes later, he received the voicemail. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little creeped out. Now, this was the oddest voicemail I had ever heard. It sounded like a hollow voice, and there was a lot of static in the background. We were only able to determine a couple of words, but it scared the shizzle out of us. Yeah, I forgot. We're on a website called Scary for Kids, so instead of full-blown it's shizzle and for some reason the message was erased several hours later and there was no sign of it on his bill well god damn if the hairs on my back aren't raised at full attention i am going to call this number right now and we are going to see what happens wait i swear to god i heard something holy shit i'm freaking myself the fuck out okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay ten numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I'm about to dial this phone number right now. Let's see what happens. What the fuck? Okay. Fuck that. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I really didn't expect the phone to ring on that one. I'm going to do it again. And this time I put star 67 in the front. So my number could be hidden just in case somebody does pick up. And I don't know, for some weird reason, it is actually somebody's number. So I'm going to call it right now. And we are going to see what happens, guys. Call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. 611 for customer assistance. Check the number and dial again. 611 for customer assistance. Okay, I'm trying it without star 67 again. Last time it rang for some weird reason. I'm going to try it again. Hopefully it doesn't ring again because this shit is freaky as fuck. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. What the hell? Okay, so the next one is 999-9999. And it says, according to an urban legend in Thailand, 999-9999 is a cursed number. If you call it and make a wish, your wish will be granted. However, you will die soon afterwards in a freak accident. Well, what if your wish is to not die or to not die in a freak accident? Then ha! You fooled the system and then the curse is broken forever. Real talk though, I low key believe in that so I'm not even gonna try that. And plus, I live in the United States. It's not gonna work if you call an overseas number because I've tried to call overseas numbers all the time and usually you need some like special code or some special card. If you don't want your bill to be raised through the roof, and, you know, I can't be making wishes and then my phone bill's hella high. In the USA, there is an urban legend about the phone number 66, yeah. They say that if you call it, you will contact the devil. Hi, how are you? All of my friends claim to have tried it with varying results. Some say nothing happens. Some say they heard eerie music. Others say they heard satanic noises. Okay, well, let me give my two cents. And we are going to put that number in right now. Blah, blah, blah. And then you guys can see it right here. Yeah. Okay. And bam. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah. That was fucking weird. That was fucking weird. I just heard I just heard some dude's voice. What the fuck? Okay, now I'm actually starting to get freaked the fuck out. At first I started this as a joke, but now I'm actually starting to get freaked the fuck out. Hold on.
Okay, guys, I'm actually gonna look this up because I'm actually really freaked out. I'm gonna see what happens exactly when you call that number because that voice was scary and I don't feel like calling it back. If you call 666 666 times, on the 666th time, you'll get this. Ain't nobody Wait, got no time for that! Number and dial again. Your call can be completed as dial. Better not be a jump scare. Please stay on the line. You have called 666. Your call has been completed. That's creepy for sure. All right, guys, so I've actually been sitting here for a good 10 minutes now and debating if I want to call the triple six number again. I heard something and then I hung up because I pussied out. I'm going to call it again and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to use my main phone this time. This is not actually my other phone that I used to call my side pieces. This is my girlfriend's phone. I was just trying to make a stupid joke, but it wasn't even funny anyway. Okay, so it's there on the screen right now. And bam. Okay, let's see what happens. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call can now be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement for... Call it again. It's on speaker. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. And then it Your just tells me some Verizon bullshit. So the next one is... 1207-404-2604. This number was set up to promote the horror movie Carrie. At the end of the trailer for the movie, it said, Call Carrie, and the numbers was displayed. When you call the number, a different number calls you back three times with creepy messages. The first is horrified screaming, the second is spooky singing, and the third is scary whispering. Okay, I'm not calling that number using my own phone, so I'm gonna use this phone again. Can you guys see it on the screen? 1207-404-2604. We're gonna press enter, and let's see what happens. Okay, so now I guess I'm supposed to wait till somebody calls me back. So nobody's saying online if the number does work or not. I called it and then it instantly hung up and nobody's called me. It's been over 10 minutes now. But there's a Facebook post from five God years damn. ago that says if you can't call Carrie, Here's an audio recording, so we're going to listen to it right now. And basically, it's going to be what was supposed to happen to me. Hello? Hello? That's pretty creepy. Who is this? Are you from my school? Harry? It's just... My mom captured me. Harrietta! No, mama! No! <laughs> That would be terrifying if I did not know that this was part of a movie. Like, I'd be legit terrified. I'm not gonna listen to the whole thing. But basically, I guess that's the gist of it. If there was no context and I just called that number and I heard that shit, my balls would be inside of my body. Okay, guys, the last phone number on this list is titled Dialing the Dead. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to do this one. I read this in a book of true ghost stories. People who were children in the 1970s claimed that in the UK, there was a mysterious number that could be dialed for free in a payphone. When the call was picked up, you could hear a woman's voice saying over and over, help me, help me, Susie's dying. Wait, you actually have to use a payphone? I live in Southern California. I haven't seen any of those things in like 10 years. Back in 1975, when I was 19 years old some of the kids i hung around with insisted we all pile into the nearest phone box to hear a spooky message i think the number you dialed was made up of zeros ones and twos and you didn't need to insert any money you could hear a woman speaking in a curiously monotone voice saying help me help me Susie's dying. Sometimes she said, help me, help me, Susie's drowning, always in the same monotonous voice. I can remember cramming into a phone box and various other kids to hear the strange Susie's dying message. I cannot remember the number dialed. 20202020. Let me try it from my handy dandy cell phone and let's just see what we get for shits and giggles. The fuck is this? That's not even a full phone number. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. All right, guys, but that's pretty much it for the numbers on this website. I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty spooked out right now. I don't know if I believe in it, but then as I was dialing the numbers, something inside of me was like, what if it is real? Like, what if I call this and something happens? Like, there's some kind of curse or something. But that's probably just like my anxiety talking. That's just me overthinking shit. Do you guys even believe in this? Like, would you guys dial this no problem right now on your phone? Or do you guys actually believe that stuff like this is real? To be honest, when I hit the record button, I was like, ah, this is gonna be 
a piece of cake, no problem. But when I actually dialed the phone numbers and then hit call and then put it on speaker, I was praying. I was praying to anybody that would hear my prayers to not be something that I did not want to hear. And to anybody watching this who expected like a demon to answer the phone to say, Jay, when you get down here to hell, I'm gonna lube up your butthole and fuck you. Then I'm sorry to disappoint you. All you got was a bunch of these calls cannot be connected. But thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too.